Hi, it's me, your friend, the neighborhood Petaha, and today I'm going to do spin pins. If you don't have these, you should get some. Um, the spin pins, this is the um, regular size spin pin. This is the mini spin pin. These come in a pack of three, these come in a pack of two. And this is the Sally Beauty Supply. Uh, I'll just show you the two, two minis. These, this one comes, this lighter one comes from Sally Beauty Supply. It's their generic version. So this is a little, a little lighter colored. It's a little tiny bit shorter than the others, than the goodie spin pins. And I feel like it's a little bit thin, like the metal's a little thinner, but just minorly. I think they're pretty much about the same. You can buy uh, the minis. I, I find these at Target. Um, you can get, Hobby Lobby has spin pin knockoffs, and you can buy them on eBay. So I'm going to show you the, I'll start just to show you a regular bun, which is what most people would use a spin pin for. I'm going to say these things look like scary torture devices, but they're really not hard on hair at all. Just going to spin into a regular bun. I'm going to take a normal spin pin. And you'll, be, you'll see right here, as I spin this in, the reason I don't use a regular spin pin is because my bun is not as wide as a regular spin pin. So if you have fine hair, thin hair, short hair, you might want the minis. And then even if you've got thicker, longer hair, you might want the minis anyway for half up dues. You might want a set of both. And so I'm going to spin this in. Now I think it says something on the, the spin pin things about like whatever you do, don't cross them. I cross them all the time. That's nothing to really worry about. So, but it's really, really in there tight with just those two and as you can see it just goes in super quick and it's best like with all with all um, bobby pins, spin pins, whatever it's always best to remove them the opposite way that you put them in but that's not really that big of a deal hooking into, there we go, just hooking into something, into some different hair. So th this is my third day here, by the way, so that's why it's going up. Uh, next I'm going to use just the regular spin pins. I'm going to show you what I normally use spin pins for. I do my version. There we go. My version of a messy bun. So you take it and you twist it like once. You make your hair hand into a curl and you take and you smoosh it all down. And then you're going to take and spin the spin pins in. With one and do one from the top. And then one from the side. And you got the messy bun and I usually will take just a couple like like I I I'd normally look but take a couple hair extra hairpins and just anything that's really sticking out like crazy. Anything else? Huh? That seems okay when they look. Yeah, that's fine. So anyway, so that's my messy bun, and I'll take these out and be back. Here I did the exact same thing I just did, but just higher up on the head. Okay, now I'm going to take the, um, the Sally's version of the spin pins. 
which I believe also come in that color and black, I can't really remember, but, and do a quick French twist. Now, I rake my hair into a little ponytail and just twist, twist it up and kind of pull the hair with it. I'm going to leave some out the top because I just want it to be a casual messy thing so up the bottom here. And then that would probably be enough to hold it, but since I have three, I'm going to take and screw it in from the side. And then separate it. And that's the mini twist. And those are what you can do with spin pins. And like I said, as you can see, they're, they're tough. That They stay in all day. They're good things. Everybody should have some. Uh, thank you for watching. Ways to the Wavies. Oh, and since I didn't hit the stop button, I would also want to point out that my sister has somewhere between bra strap length and um, mid-back length thick hair, and these work for her. They, they hold her hair up solidly, so they will also work for thicker hair. She's got thick, the thick, medium coarse hair. So, uh, thank you for watching. Face the babies.